Three D Man inactive. Real name: Charles Chuck Chandler and Harold Hal Chandler. Occupation: test pilot. Identity: secret. Legal status: American citizens with no criminal record. Other aliases: none. Known relatives: Peggy, wife; Hal Jr., Charles Jr. Children: place of birth: Los Angeles, California; place of retirement: Los Alamos, New Mexico. First appearance: Marvel premiere number thirty-five. Final appearance: Hulk number two fifty-one. History. During the late 1950s, the National Aeronautics and Space Agency, or NASA, was just beginning its program of putting a man into orbit. Vital to the success of this program was the XF-13 rocket plane, an experimental craft capable of reaching the upper atmosphere. Chosen to pilot the craft on its first test flight was Charles Chuck Chandler, considered to be one of the nation's leading pilots. On the night before the flight, Chandler was attacked by foreign agents who sought to abduct the young aviator. With help from his brother Hal, Chandler escaped, and the flight went on as scheduled. The flight went smoothly at first, but then an alien spacecraft appeared, tracking the XF-13. Although Chandler radioed the sighting of the UFO, only the XF-13 appeared on radar. Before he could take any evasive maneuvers, Chandler and his plane were transported aboard the alien vessel. Once on board, Chandler discovered that he was a prisoner of the Skrulls, the shape-changing alien race from the Andromeda Galaxy. See Skrulls. Long aware of the strategic importance of the planet Earth in their eons-long war with the Kree, the Skrulls were now vitally interested in the fledgling space programs of the United States and the Soviet Union. Chandler's capture, therefore, was necessary to procure first-hand information. Indeed, it had been the Skrulls who had masterminded the kidnap attempt on Chandler the night before. Realizing that Chandler would never divulge any information willingly, the Skrulls prepared to expose him to their mind probe ray. Chandler, however, broke free of the alien's grasp. In his escape, he inadvertently damaged several vital components of the starship's warp drive. Just as Chandler rocketed out of the Skrull ship in the XF-13, the power source of the Skrullian drive went into overload, and the ship exploded. Although Chandler was far enough from the exploding craft to avoid being hit by any flying debris, he was not far enough away to prevent being bathed in the alien radiations unleashed by the explosion. With the XF-13 badly damaged, Chandler decided to land in the Mojave Desert near where he knew his brother Hal would be watching the test flight. Crash landing, Chandler spotted his brother and ran to meet him. But at that moment, the alien radiation took effect, and Chuck Chandler vanished in a burst of light before his brother's eyes. Believing Chuck dead, Hal returned to Los Angeles to inform his parents and NASA authorities. That night, Hal noticed that the image of a man had been imprinted onto the lenses of his glasses. On one lens, the image was red; on the other, green. Hal deduced that the image was that of his brother, which had been imprinted on the glasses in the final burst of radiation. By putting on the glasses and concentrating on merging the two images on a flat surface, Hal triggered a dimensional transfer that returned Chuck to reality while placing Hal in a trance-like state. The radiation had altered Chuck. While still humanoid in appearance, his body suit, specially designed for the XF-13, had now become a part of his skin. Further, his body was now divided into shades of red and green. Chuck also discovered that his physical strength and stamina had been augmented to three times what it had been. Finally, Chuck learned that his exposure to the Skrull radiation made him sensitive to Skrull presence whenever the aliens were in a vicinity near him.
It was this sensitivity that made the 3D man, as Chandler christened himself, aware of a small-scale but potentially dangerous plot of the Skrulls to destabilize Earth society. Using their shape-shifting abilities, the Skrulls were infiltrating human society at all levels, even that of high government posts, in order to wreak social havoc. This, the Skrulls hoped, would serve to slow Earth's rapid scientific progress. As the 3D man, Chandler stopped several of these Skrull plots. His effectiveness was somewhat hampered by the fact that Chandler could not remain on Earth for more than three hours. At that point, the 3D man had to return to his two-dimensional world in his brother's glasses so that Hal could come out of his trance. One night, a Skrull agent followed the 3D man home. Seeking to eliminate a threat to his people's plans, the Skrull fired an energy beam at Chandler just as the dimensional transferal was taking place. When next Hal released the 3D man, he discovered to his horror that it was not Chuck's persona who was in charge, but his own. Fearful that his brother's consciousness had been destroyed by the energy beam, Hal decided never again to affect the dimensional transfer. Hal was also becoming romantically involved with Chuck's former girlfriend, Peggy Clark, at the time, and it is possible that he saw the 3D man's continued existence as a threat to that relationship. The Skrull infiltration plan had apparently been crippled by the 3D man, and it was terminated soon afterwards. The Skrulls would not make another major assault upon Earth until years later. Twenty years after his last transfer, the 3D man returned for the final time. Hal had invited Dr. Bruce Banner to spend the night with his family, without realizing at first that Banner was the alter ego of the Hulk. Fearing the Hulk might prove a threat to his family, Hal called on the 3D Man to deal with the situation. Although Chuck's persona had not appeared at the last transfer, it inexplicably returned at this point. The 3D man was hopelessly outpowered by the Hulk, and when he discovered that the behemoth was merely misunderstood and not a threat, he convinced the Hulk to flee from the authorities. Afterwards, the 3D man returned into his brother's glasses, determined never to return. Power the 3D man possessed approximately three times the speed, strength, and stamina of the average human male. He could run approximately 70 miles an hour for up to a half hour before tiring and attain short bursts of speed up to 90 miles per hour. He could leap to a height of about 30 feet from a standing position. He could lift, press, approximately 1,400 pounds. His reaction time was about 1.5 times that of a gifted video game player. The 3D man also had the limited quasi-telepathic ability to perceive the distinctive aura of the Skrull race, even when a Skrull had assumed another form. This perception could not always be focused, however, and sometimes all the 3D man could do was detect the presence of a Skrull in the vicinity without pinpointing him in a crowd. The glasses upon which the 3D man's image was imprinted was an artificial portal to a two-dimensional reality where Chuck Chandler lived when not manifested on the three-dimensional plane. The 3D man's form could only remain in this reality for three hours before he began to disintegrate into his two component images and thus be drawn back through the portal. Hal Chandler had to mentally initiate the dimensional transfer to bring 3D Man to this reality. Chuck Chandler was unable to. It is not known what Chuck Chandler's subjective experience was of the two-dimensional reality he spent most of his time in. Although he was in a trance while 3D Man manifested himself in this reality, Hal Chandler remembered the 3D Man's actions by some unexplained telepathic link. 3D Man's consciousness seems to be a blend of both of the brothers' minds, with one dominant over the other. 